Katie. Welcome to the Battery Shop. The battery in this 2014 Toyota Corolla is right here under the hood and it's very easy to get to. But before you begin, we recommend that you always check the vehicle manufacturer's step-by-step -step instructions to be sure that you're familiar with the project, have everything that you need, and can safely replace the battery. We are using a memory saver to keep the vehicle's computer memories alive while the battery is being replaced. With gloves and safety glasses on, the first step is to remove the negative battery cable from the negative battery terminal. You're going to need a 10 millimeter wrench for that. Then remove the positive battery cable from the positive battery terminal. And you'll need your 10 millimeter wrench again. The next step is to loosen the fasteners for the battery hold down bracket. And you'll need your 10 millimeter wrench again. Now we can remove this old battery. And now we can install the new battery. In this case, a high performance Optima AGM battery. Next, you'll need to clean off the battery cables. First, the positive, then the negative. And give the battery terminals a quick cleanup. The next step is to reinstall the battery hold down bracket. and re-tighten the fasteners. Now we can reinstall the positive battery cable to the positive battery terminal and re-tighten the fastener. Then we can reinstall the negative battery cable to the negative battery terminal and retighten the fastener. Many late model vehicles need to have the new battery registered or coded with the vehicle's battery management system. Refer to the service and repair manual for your vehicle to see if this needs to be done. If so, check out our videos on how to do this. The links to those are in this video's description below.